Look at somebody and tell them, put your finger in their face, pull the eyelashes, put the eyebrows. Yeah, we going to be all right. Look them in the face and tell them, we going to be all right. I don't care what they come on with. Yeah, hey.
what it really was about. He come in, there were people having war. They were already in a war. And he came to help these people. It was a, a group of people. Help these people in this war. And uh, so uh, he began to uh, talk to them about the, uh, about the war, about the fight of the war, the, and the, the opponents of the war. Amen. And then uh, he goes on and he, they went to a room like a bunker. And they went there and they began to rest while the other, the other enemy was trying to attack the people that he come to help. And so um, there was a woman there that provided everything that they need while they were in rest. With everything that she, whatever they needed, that, that group of people, that field of people, whatever they needed, she was there to provide it. And so he, after that, he began to say, well, we coming out. And when he came out, he came out with, I call it a bazooka. He had a bazooka in his hand, and all the team behind him, all the group of the people said, it's just all y'all. And y'all had bazookas. And then y'all began to come. Now see, the thing about it is, we all had to rest. That's the key word. We rest in the bunker, and whatever we needed, the woman provided. Hallelujah. She was a nurturer of everything. Everything. But after we got nurtured, he took us out. And when he took us out, we come out with a bazooka. And then the Spirit of God said that bazooka was the Holy Ghost. Right now. The full of power of the Holy Ghost. And a lot of us walking around with that little 45, you know, that little bitty gun. He said, y'all got bazookas in your hands. And y'all ready for war. Then he goes on to say that he stood up and he mediated. And he stood up in front of everybody and all the rest of us was in behind him. And with his big pistol, he said, but you know what? Everybody's going to go down, but we ain't giving up. Come on now. Come on, then I hear it say, go down with the ship. Yeah. Yeah. Go down with the pieces. Come on, yeah. But we armed. Yeah, come and somebody on. said, we dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. We got Holy Ghost feel powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all got yeah. the sewers. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look it up on your Google thing. And see what a bazooka is. Right. You had it. But he stood out first with his bazooka. And he said, they're going down. All of us. They seen us with all our bazooka. Him and the mediator for us. They turned around and they left. Okay. Wait, but that ain't the end of it. So a car came to get him to take him off. So he got in the car. He remembered, oh, I forgot my keys. He forgot his keys. So he goes back to the camp. The enemy is stuck back to try to attack the group of people again. He came back for you. But when he came in, they left. Then the angel that, the woman which was the angel that provided everything and nurtured us for everything, said, oh, it's all over. It's time she, it's time I'm leaving. Because there's nothing here anymore. It's, everything is fixed. Everything is done. Come on, y'all. Everything it is finished.
so now she's leaving. She got married, she got a spouse. And she left. She said, everything is done. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We don't be all right. Sacrifice on Friday and everything that yeah. took place. Amen. I was telling you the amazing things that you can do and accomplish yeah. when you step out in faith. Yeah. You step out in faith and get out of flesh, you'd be surprised of what you can accomplish. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And that's why I kept bringing them back together. Yes. And bring yes. them and we kept yes. fighting and fighting. I bring them back together and yes. bring them back together. Yes. Yes. Because I know that when we do things by faith yes. and not flesh, Amen. you'll be surprised at the yes. end result. Yes. And all the people that showed up, yes. amen. amen, the people that they got to come and be yes. a part of Amen. They called us names. I got blasted by some pastors. But I don't care. Amen. I really don't. I, I don't walk in flesh. I walk in spirit. I live in spirit. That's what I tell people. If you get away from religion, you won't be affected by all this stuff. Amen. You, you already got confusion. And then you're going to let them confuse you. And that's what's wrong with the church. Amen. See, the church set up and then we'll fight each other as opposed to getting together and saying, let's take this thing out. Because God said, if my people that are called by the mind, they don't know themselves in the grave, turn from their wicked way, you would hear from heaven and you'd heal the land. But see, the church is too busy fighting. And the devil loves it. And you get a bunch of pastors, and you, you know, you're trying to do the right thing, and they're the main one attacking you. Come on, come on now. You know, but see, I'm used to it. So I go on anyway. It really don't matter to me. Amen. Uh, I'm not intimidated by any of that. I've been through all that. Amen. But it's a shame that that's how we look at things. We let them people tell us everything. It made robots out of us, out of the church. You're not going to make a robot out of me. Amen. I'll take my chances. Amen. Uh, the people all through the Bible, they took their chances. And God bought every last one of them out. Because of their boldness and the stand that they took. I'm not worried about any of this stuff. Amen. I walk by faith and not by sight. I've been through worse. And seen God bring me out. And so I try to take people there because this is our real life. We're spirit beings yes. having a human experience. Yes. And I was just so blessed to see all the people that showed up. Amen. And every yes. sacrifice that was made yes. in all areas. Yes. And, and, and it was such a success because everybody came together Amen. and you did it together. Yes. Yes. Amen. You did it together. And I thank God for all of you, from the least one to the greatest one. Amen. Then y'all had refreshments out there at the door. And I thought that was so beautiful. Amen. Uh, the refreshments there, give to people as they were leaving out. I mean, everything is just like so perfecto. Amen. It was really good. makes the dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. You can do uh, the Bible says in uh, Genesis uh, uh, chapter 11 I believe it is and he talks about that there will be nothing that they can't accomplish because they're speaking the same thing and he said there's nothing even in their imagination that they won't be able to bring to pass because they're all speaking the same thing. When you become one unit, baby, you'd be surprised at what you can accomplish when you become one unit in anything. Amen, somebody. One can put a thousand devils in flight and two can put ten thousand. Amen. Imagine 
5, 10, 15, 20 of what you can do. The enemy really knows he can't stop you. But if I can get you in enough fear, if I can get you fighting each other, if I can get you going crazy, then I know I got you. I got the upper hand. Amen, somebody. And this is why I teach the way I teach because everybody's had that other stuff. And they've had it for years and have not accomplished anything. So now they want to fight you because you're walking the reality. My Bible tells me uh, in Ephesians chapter 5, God says, copy me, Amplified Version. Yeah, he said, copy me right. in everything you do. Not about copying God. Mm. Right, 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 right. Wait a minute. We copying God, the Father. Yeah. Yeah. As a child copies his Father, the Bible says. See, see. He watching, he monitoring you, he's he's seeing everything you do. Now, if you if you're copying God like that, that there would not be an ounce of fear, doubt, stress, worry, depression, none of that stuff would be able to overtake you. And that's why God said, even if I were hungry, I, I don't have to tell you because anything I call is going to show up. And when you know who you are as a son. Our daughter, and he used sonship in yeah. general. Amen. Uh, speaking in general of headship. If you walk in, in that right there, nothing can stop you. And this is what the church got to know. Because I'm, I, I told y'all last Sunday, I was looking at the NBA game, the Lakers, because they're taking the championship this year. And they're out of the first round. They haven't been in the playoffs since 2013, but they're going to do it this year. They're going all the way. But anyway, that's another story. But anyway, <laughs> I, okay. Amen. But listen, but listen, but listen, but listen, listen. They they get posted everywhere. No matter what they do, they can't stop us. And, and I got to thinking about the church. I, I said, now these people, they talk bold. And then I turn around and watch this. And I, I, I post this on, on, on the internet. I don't know how many paid attention, but one of the commercials, the very words that I use all the time, they now use it on the commercial. And the commercial saying, all is well. And I, I stopped and paused it and took my phone and took a picture. I said, see, see, what you don't pay attention to, they will. Oh man, they will, and I notice these things. And God will give us stuff, and if it's not walked out, you'll notice that it'll come about there. Yeah, and, and that's because it will not. Isaiah fifty-five. It will not return void. Any man that believe me. Any man, I don't care who you are, man, woman, boy, girl, any man that'll believe me, listen, I'll do it. Yes, sir. I know that's right. See, 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 you looking at it one way, but God looking at it in a whole nother way. That's why I learned to see with the eyes of God, not the eyes of flesh, because the eyes of flesh will deceive you. And all you do is sit around and, and talk about how saved and spiritual you are, and you're fighting and judging and sending everybody to hell and condemning everybody, and nobody right but you. Self righteous spirit, all this stuff. But see, when you look with the eyes of God, you look beyond that because God is too big to be in the little box. Church put him in a little box and say that this is it right here, that you know, this, this, this is it. But that's a lie. Come on, man. Love me, love me, but my dollar bills. So I care about that. But the church got to know, honey, listen, you can't be stopped. You know, man, I get a lot of people. Because, because why? Why? Because you got to go exercise it. You, when you exercise that every day, get in that mirror, tell yourself, look here, boy, you can't be stopped.
huh? So they call you arrogant. But God called you bold. The, the, those apostles in Acts chapter 4, those apostles, when they looked on them, they seen them as bold men. Watch this. Unlearned in scripture. Well, come on, come on, come on. But they perceived, Acts chapter 4, verse 13, they perceived. They wouldn't run around quoting scripture come on, come on. with no evidence. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. I'm That's okay. I'm going to be on the plane in a minute. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to deal with me for 10 days until I get back. But anyway, I'm going to get a break, though. I'm like, but, 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 but if you get this, baby, I'll tell you, you'll be the most blessed child by the time I come back here. Yes. You'll be screaming, hollering, shouting all on the phone, text, and everything else. If you get this word, baby, you got to get this. You got to get this. Knowing who you are makes a difference in everything. And baby, listen here. When, when you become born again, the first thing you got to get is an identity. You got right. to know your identity. You got to exercise your identity knowing that you've been reconciled back to the Father. And if I've been reconciled back to the Father, listen here, listen here, uh, Luke chapter 15. Look here, uh, the prodigal son came back home. He said, look, we can't bring that, 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 that pug side, that pig side up in here. So as the son was running to the father, the father runs to the son. We can't, we can't have that up in here because this is not us. So he had to catch him out there. And they hugged and kissed each other. He turns around and dressed him up before he even got into the house. I wish I had some crazy faith. I wish I had some true, downright crazy people. You can't bring that in the king's house. So he catch you before you get there. Oh, wait a minute. Let me fix you up. Let me dress you up before you come up here. Because my son has come home. Man, how long did I hear that? When I got the revelation of what that really was all about, 
I wanted to slap everybody that told me. No, I didn't. Man. Man, no sense. But anyway, thank God I, I'm a good boy. But anyway, see, see, when you see when you don't know the enemy will trick you to keep you a slave. You're not a slave. How are you gonna be a child of God and be a slave? You're not a slave. Look at somebody snatch their eyelashes and tell them, you're not a slave. You're not a slave. Your only problem is you lack knowledge. You lack knowledge. And when you lack knowledge, you don't know. So you got to go by the opinions of everybody else. Look at somebody say, I'm tired of people's opinions. I'm tired of people's opinions. You ain't got me nowhere. I'm still broke. Listen at that. I'm not. Y'all better hear me. See, see, this is your day, honey. It don't go according to what's out there. It goes according to what God said. You being a fire and furnace and still don't get hurt. Still won't catch nothing. In the fire and furnace, other people around you will be catching it and dying. And you'll still be standing up. Oh, it'll be the morning. How y'all still alive when other folk die? Because the God that we serve, we know who we are. He throw us in the line then. Everything else that went in there died. But we coming back up. Long live the king. You ain't mad enough. That's sonship. Yeah. Oh, can I get somebody? Yeah. That's sonship. Yeah. You, you ain't afraid of nothing. The Bible says that you tread among oh. them. Oh. Yeah. Tread among scorpions and serpents. Yeah. Yeah. The power that you have is beyond all of it. Luke 10, 19. Y'all gonna write these scriptures down so y'all can go back and check me out. He in the Bible. See, see, you tread among all this. See, 19 ain't nothing. But they make it something while they put stuff in place that they need to put in place. Man, I ain't gonna go there either this Sunday. I'm through when we get out of that. You help me, Jesus. Come on, Father. You know, you lead me now. You help me. Hallelujah. God said, listen, I gave you yes. the keys. Yes. Yes. Every last one of you as a believer, listen, you have keys. Yes. If you give your keys away, ain't nobody's fault but yours. Yes. Ain't nobody tell you to give it away. That's your fault. You gave them away. Well, I, I love this. In the, in, 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 let me get this in the CEB uh, translation. Is that all right, y'all? Yes. Anybody got a CEB by Bible? You got a CEB? I got it somewhere in my notes here. I can quote it, but I, I just want to, I want to really actually get it to read. C-E-B. I have given you the power to trample over snakes and scorpions. No, no, I want, I want, I want Matthew 16, 19. Oh, see, I thought you were Matthew 16, 19, C-E-B. Y'all yo, yo, stay with me for a second, is this okay? Yeah, I'm going to be out here in a minute, I promise you. I got a point to catch. <laughs> I did what? I have given you the I have. Now that was not Shawakatim. That was not Sinane. That wasn't Bobo then. God said, listen, through Jesus Christ, I have given you keys. Come on. To the kingdom of To the kingdom and where is the kingdom? Amen. It's in you. Luke 1721. It's in you. Come on, read. God in heaven will allow whatever you You better get up and stop praying. I'm waiting on the Lord. Yeah, okay, stay in. And, and let him just, just take everything else. See, God said, Matthew 16, 19, God said, I gave you the keys. And whatever you allow, that's why the church got to learn how to get together so we can kill the enemy in his work instead of killing each other. 
They're doing a nut job about that part. We are the healers. We are the dead raisers. Yes. 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 Whatever you allow on earth, what? I will allow. I, I want her to read because I don't want them to say I'm saying this. Whatever you allow on earth, but he would not allow anything you don't allow. Mm, look at that. All right. Wow. Yes. Wait a minute. Read that part again. Read that part again. No, that what you just read that makes sense. But he will not allow anything you don't allow. Anything you don't allow, he won't allow. See, you're in charge down here. Come on now. The heavens are the Lord. But the earth has he given to the sons and churches of men. I get it. The Bible didn't come back in Psalm chapter 8. It said, what is man that you're so mindful of him that you place all the works of your hand unto him? You done gave your whole universe to him to control it. What is it about man? Then Psalms uh, 82, I like verse 1, but 82 and 6, he says, I have said, you are gods. Come on, right. come on. But watch this. You will die like mere humans. Other translators say, like any other man. Because that's not who you are. But if you follow the flesh, he that soweth into the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. He that soweth into the spirit will of the spirit reap life and peace. So you got to live. And if I live from the spirit, I will not fulfill what my flesh is trying to tell me. I'm not depressed. You lied down. I'm the happiest person on the face of the earth. See, you got to open your mouth and talk. And then when God hear that, he turn around. And he, bam, he got, he got to do the same thing. He backing you up. You got everything you need in you, with you, for you. But you got to work it. First John 5, 4. Are y'all okay? Yes, sir. I got 15 minutes. Y'all sit down and stay with me. Stay with me. Y'all be blessed. For every time, not some of them, are you a child of God? Amen. Have you accepted your sonship nature? Yes. yes. Have you been reconciled back to the Father? Yes. Huh? Yes. If you haven't, you know, today is a good day for real. Yes. You better go and do it. Yes. Because you're not going to make it without him. Yes. You care what you try to do outside, but it's not going to work. Yes. People now discover that there's something beyond this world, and they're trying to get to it, and that's God. You got a divine God nature inside you. Yes. And people are discovering that they don't have to be sitting out here going crazy and losing their mind, allowing the enemy to, to snatch and kill and destroy them. They got a God nature inside them, so they're trying to find somebody to teach them. Come on, all right. Tell me who I am. Yes. Stop telling me who I'm not. Tell me who I am. Yes. Yes. He did not describe. All the wrong stuff the prodigal son did. Uh -huh. he, he wasn't hearing all that. Yeah, right, listen, I'm not here for that. I'm here to get you back to who yeah. you really are. Yeah. You can beat a person up all day long. It ain't going to help them. But tell them who they really are. Yeah. Oh, y'all don't have a life. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them who they really are. Spend some time telling them who they really are. Instead of calling them all them other names. You are so and so and so just like you are so and so and whatever his name is and his name. Y'all know y'all filling them blanks. Y'all know what it is. Every child of God does what? Defeat this evil world. We had this last Sunday. And we do this how? Yo, come on. Come on, don't be guessing. First John 5 and 4. New Living Translation. We achieve this victory through Christ. Through 
from Burger King, Macy's, hey, hey, hey. Joseph and J.C. Penn. Hey. Not Joseph. No. <laughs> Bishop. <laughs> anyway, okay, let me stop. Joe. You achieve this victory, honey, when you exercise faith, there's nothing you can't accomplish. Oh, no. oh, God said, I've dealt to every man the measure of faith. Everybody in here has it. Right. But the difference from one and the other, some won't use, use it. They won't use it. They sit around waiting on a hand me out. Please, please, did you help me? Please, please, please. My name is Jimmy. Amen. I'll take all you give me. Please, you got some spare change. Please, please. Can you please help me? Can you please, can you please? And, 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 and you being made a slave. A slave. A slave, a slave. Baby, if you get in and you realize who you are, listen here, watch this. I'm going to help y'all. This is some good teaching, y'all. 98%. Y'all y'all go and look this up. 98% of your growth, your walk, is internal. Only 2% is external. That's why the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, your subconscious nature is running. And I just be honest and truthful with you. See, I'm not here to give you no bunch of hokey dokey I'm going to tell you the truth. You have been told all that other stuff. I'm going to tell you the truth. 95% of your walk is your subconscious nature. Only 5% is your conscious nature. That's why the Bible calls it in Romans chapter 8, the carnal mind is an enemy against God. All, you can back all this up with scripture. If you don't change your inside, your outside will never change. Mm, my God, my God, my God, my God. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing. What well, well, this is now, wait a minute now, hold that now. Hold that. I know I'm saying, you're right. You're right. I don't debate that. Well, this is, wait a minute. I'm going to take a look at deep. Huh? But with all of that, listen, those gave you tools so you can transform your thinking. You got saved, you got the Holy Ghost, but you won't have any evidence if you don't transform inside. Why am I still like this? Because you're not changing. You still praying 10 years later for a new car that you could have had 10 years ago. Well, Lord, I guess the Lord just saying it ain't time. No, no, you saying it's not time. Whatever you allow, I allow. Well, you know, I, somebody walked up to me, I, I'm not trying to bring no attention to you, so don't don't act out. And I said, I got six dollars to my name. I said, six dollars to your name? You are Bishop. And then I said it again because I was hoping they were gonna catch and change what they said. Because they came from this church. Uh.
You ain't bad shape. You ain't real bad shape. Well, 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 you know, I, 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 you know, when I go, I'm going back to work, and uh, you know, I was like, "Whoa, you in worse shape? <laughs> you worse than I thought." So you need to just go and just shut up, just stop, and figure out. Wait a minute, I done messed up. Let me, let me find out what he's gonna say to help me, because apparently I'm not thinking. Because everything he said, it got worse. And I'm like, whoa, now you got to wait till you, oh, gee, whoa. And like people tell me, they got to wait till the first. I'm like, oh, God, you got how many days? You ain't going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all praying for me. I'm, I, look, look, if I'm not challenging you to get better, then I'm not doing my job. My job is telling you to come up out of them holes Amen. and know who you are and who you have done. And I'm sorry for people that want to compromise. I, I'm not going to be there with you, baby. I just, man, you just got the wrong one. You need to go find somebody else that'll do it because they'll be glad to serve you and then fleece you. Gee, I ain't trying to fleece nobody. I'm trying to get it to you in the name of our God. And if I give you what he said, you'll never be broke. Never. As long as you do it. Speaking the truth. You'll never be broke. You'll never be, broke. You'll never be without. Go out there. Hallelujah. If it's that time, put your hand on it. Come on. And tell it, I'll be back. I love it. Yes. I'll be back. You got to know who you are, baby. Amen. You don't beg for nothing That's right. out of a child of God. That's sonship. Amen. Every child of God defeats. Yeah. And none of my kids better not come falling before me and crying and going crazy. I'm mean, like, yeah, man, if you don't, ooh, if you don't get it. <laughs> uh -huh, man. Get, get. <laughs> I knew, girl, I knew girls the same way. That's why they know when you stay away from pop balls and pop balls. Hey, wrong answer. And there was a day I didn't know what I know today. What I use today, it works. It works. What I was using. But anyway, okay, that's another story. But I will say. I will say this. But anyway, let me get out of that. Let me help you. Come on, come on. Keep close out somewhere. One more scripture. I'm going to quit. Colossians chapter 2. I'm going to quit with this. I got 10 minutes. I got you. You ain't going to miss your time. She walked in the clock. Pretty, she walked in the clock. I'm waiting on you. Walk out there. I had Freeze that plane. Hold up. <laughs> Watch it. I, I must quit with this one. For in Christ lives all the fullness of God in a human body. That's why he described you as the body of Christ. He described you as the temple of God. He described you the temple of the Holy Ghost. This is you. He abides in you. And in him dwells the fullness because you've accepted the sacrifice. That takes you back to your original nature. And the fullness of God awakens within you. Yeah. Now watch this. Watch this. So you also, so this, this is the answer right here. Just as he is, so are you in this world. Y'all catch it, verse 10, I'm with you. So you also are complete. See that? He didn't stop at Jesus. He's telling you, now you're complete through your union yeah. with him. Right. Yeah. Mm. 
That's why Ephesians 2 and 6 says that you're seated. Come on now. In him. With the Father. Yeah. At the right hand of the Father. Ephesians 2 and 6. Because that union brings you back to the oneness. You don't talk like he out there and you somewhere else. That's what a lot of religious people do. That's bondage. They make it like, oh, he's somewhere else. We got to wait on waiting on the move of God. I ain't waiting on nothing. <laughs> move of God is me. When I step in, that's the move of God, baby. Because in me dwells the fullness. We were walking yesterday. I had some of my sons with me. And it looked like every store we went in with no lines. All of a sudden, lines just came up everywhere. Mm -hmm. We leave out the door, go to another store with no lines. All of a sudden, lines just lined up everywhere. And I said, Life, no, listen, life follows life. Yeah. See, all my boys, they say, and they, and they do like they dead. Come on, come on, come on. If, even if you're my spiritual son, right. if you're my spiritual daughter, you, you, you're going to do like, like your spiritual father. That's right. And your spiritual father expects that life to move as he yeah. Yeah. Everything dead needs to be dead. Yeah. When you walk, he's walking. To me, today, to the old city, to the number of today, say, to the old city, to the old city, to the old city, he gave him my shot. So I take on my head. Just tell him thank you. Thank you. See, when this happens, he moves. When you move, he moves. If you don't move, he can't move. Because in you dwells the fullness. Are y'all catching this? And we kept looking back. I said, look, look y'all, look. Look at it. With nothing there, we come up. That's right. Now look at it. They just lined all up. This is where it's supposed to be. Going to a gas station, going to a store, and watch what happens if you carry carrying life with Jesus. Right. Right. Happens all the time. Now, if you're mad and angry and letting the devil come out, the devil get on my back, you ain't going to see nothing. Because <laughs> that's the deal. That's not life. See, religious people are angry all the time. they mad all the time. They're looking for people to judge and condemn. So you got to let that go and walk in the life. Yeah. Jesus said, I come that you have life, life and life that more abundantly. Yeah. He said, hey, I come you you have dead right. and kill everybody that walk up. Right. Send everybody to hell. Yeah. He didn't say that. Yeah. Verse 17, watch this. He said, he sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. But that the world through him would be saved. Right. Come on now. That's right. If he gonna come condemn everybody, who gonna get saved? Right. Nobody. 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 That's why people throw your tracks down on the ground. They don't want you to hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. But hand them twenty dollars and see what happens. I bet you change. Yeah, listen. Yeah, listen. Yeah, be like, who are you? Oh, we've done it. We do it all the time. And it beats a track a million times a one. Right. Everybody we be a blessing to, it gets their attention. But, but, but go have them a track. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't let it really be so. I'm like, you're right, I don't either. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm messing with you. Okay. Praise Jesus. See, when you know who you are, that's what I love about Dr. Cho, because Dr. Cho, he, he turned around, went back and asked God, he said, God, what was the problem? So I went and I told him about you, and they turned around and said, look here, if, if, if you're going to tell me about hell, I'm already in hell. You go tell your God that. He said, look at my kids. They run around here, don't have nothing. They run around here in the project, everything tore up around here. If right. hell is any worse than this, then just send me home. Right. And Dr. Cho said, they got his attention. Dr. Cho went back and sat up in, in the pew, the front pew on the corner. While they were having service, 
He sat there and he meditated trying to figure out what was the problem with that. God said, take them some food. Take some pampers. Take some clothes. And take some money over there. And then see what happened. Dr. Cho got his team and went back like God said. They became members of his church. And they stayed with Dr. Cho. And so Dr. Cho changed his whole model for his team. We ain't giving no tracks. We ain't doing none of that. We gonna help people. Oh, I'm gonna ask somebody. Oh God, I'm up here crazy. Oh my God, I thank you. I thank you. Lord, 
Lord have mercy. I'm exercising, walking through the mall. She deep, she real deep. I'm telling me all this, look at all these folk out here. You shouldn't even be here. This is this is sin and hell. This is this ain't nothing but sin. And I'm sitting there like, Lord have mercy. I like I don't even know what church you come out of. But um no, that's wrong information. Listen, this is God's creation. This is God's creation. I ain't gonna tell y'all the rest of the story because I'm gonna let y'all get out of here because I gotta get out of here too. But Margarita watching me. <laughs> Amen.